Target! Fighting house to house is the dirtiest of all fighting. Just as a rat must be drawn from his burrow to be eradicated, an enemy soldier burrowed in a building must be pulled from his hiding place to be eliminated. Normally he will not come out without a fight. The attacker must go in and dig him out. The Battle of Way City took place during the Tet Offensive of 1968, from January 30th to March 3rd, 1968. This fight for the cultural center of Vietnam was the largest U.S. battle in a city since that for Seoul during the Korean War. Americans have not conducted an urban battle since that has exceeded the scale of fighting in Way. At the operational level, Way was merely one operation in the American and South Vietnamese campaign to counter the North Vietnamese and Viet Cong Tet Offensive. At dawn on the first day of the Tet Holiday Truce, Viet Cong forces, supported by large numbers of North Vietnamese troops, launched the largest and best coordinated offensive of the war, driving into the center of South Vietnam's seven largest cities and attacking 30 provincial capitals, ranging from the Delta to the DMZ. Among the cities taken during the first four days of the offensive were Hue, Da Lat, Kantum, and Quang Tri. In the north, all provincial capitals were overrun. At the same time, the enemy forces shelled numerous allied airfields and bases. During the initial phase of the Battle of Hue in late January 1968, Sergeant Alfredo Cantu Gonzalez and his unit were sent by truck convoy to reinforce units in the city. When the convoy came under fire January 31st, he led his men in the clearing of the area. Further down the road, he received shrapnel wounds while carrying an injured man to safety. When the convoy was halted by a machine gun bunker, he led his platoon toward the position and destroyed it with hand grenades. Eventually reaching the city of Way, his unit became engaged in heavy combat. Gonzalez was seriously wounded on February 3rd, but refused medical treatment. The next day, when a large North Vietnamese force inflicted heavy casualties on his company, he used anti-tank weapons to fire on the fortified positions. He successfully checked the North Vietnamese advance and silenced a rocket emplacement before being mortally wounded by a rocket. He took cover in the St. Joan of Arc Catholic Church, where he died. For his actions during the Battle of Way from January 31st to February 4th, 1968, Gonzalez was awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor. By the end of the Battle of Way City, 142 U.S. Marines were killed in action and 857 wounded. While the North Vietnamese suffered 5,000 casualties and countless more wounded.